your feet, maggot. Shut your throat! Shut your throat! And I help you, My name is Major Bill Cage. The U.S. Army media relations. I was at a bachelor party or a poker game. You have an order in your left hand. says, I'm the deserter caught a person leaving an office here. But what it doesn't say is that your, your name is Master Sergeant Farrell from Science Hill, Kentucky. And if you'll give me 30 seconds to explain how I know that, you may just save the lives of every soldier on this base. You have to listen to me. They know we're coming. They're waiting for us. I have been there. I've seen it. You're all doomed. You're doomed. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, fine. Fine. This is J Squad. Yes, this is J Squad. Not that I should know that, but okay. Have it. any of you met me before? <laughs> I don't know. Exactly. Yes, thank you. Your name is Nance. You're Bibble. Kimmel, Kimmel. You fight balls out, literally. Ford, Skinner, Griff, you're... He doesn't talk much. But there's a card game under the bed. Thanks a lot, asshole. Uh, Kimmel's working on flush, uh, spades, no, clubs. And you're gonna make me those cards. Am I right? What I'm about to tell you sounds crazy. It's true. And you have to listen to me. Your very lives depend on Ladies and gents in Cyberland, coming back with another film review. Uh, this time I'm uh, doing a sci-fi again. Edge of Tomorrow. Now, just so you know, Originally, this film was not called Edge of Tomorrow. It was originally called Live, Die, Repeat. That's originally what it was called. I know this because uh, the film got pushed back. And it wasn't because of a COVID situation. It got pushed back for some weird reason. And it was originally called Live, Die, Repeat. And then at some point, it came out and... As it was coming out, they changed the name of it to Edge of Tomorrow. But, again, originally it was called Live, Die, Repeat. And if you're one of those people that have one of those posters, it's worth a lot of money because they changed the title. It's kind of like uh, Return of the Jedi. The original title was called Revenge of the Jedi. And then there's a poster of it, but it got changed to Return of the Jedi. Something like that. So the film is about... Tom Cruise, who is a spokesperson for the military, you know, the, the world has been fighting these aliens and millions and millions of people are getting killed. It's not working out too good. And he's a spokesperson for the government 
And at some point, he gets thrusted in to go fight, and he's like, well, I'm not doing that. And unfortunately, he gets kind of like court-martialed and forced to fight, and if he doesn't, he's going to get killed. But he gets killed anyway. He goes in, has no training, no experience, and gets killed. All of a sudden, he wakes up, doing the same thing again. Same exact thing. Meeting with Bill Paxton's character, the late Bill Paxton. And does the same mission again and gets killed again. And he keeps doing that every so often. He keeps getting killed, but gradually he's realizing what's going on and kind of avoids getting killed, and he keeps getting further and further. And at some point, he meets Emily Blunt, and they kind of start talking, and he realizes that something happened with him to where... He keeps repeat, there's something in him that's causing him to be able to repeat these situations, and and apparently she had it at one point. And that's just the film to figure out how to stop these aliens, and win the war that the humans have been involved in. So, with this film, as I watched it, I felt like I, I this reminded me of a hard Nintendo game. <laughs> I kid you not. Not the current stuff. I mean, the cartridge where you had to blow on it, insert it perfectly to be able to play it so the game didn't freeze. That Nintendo. Everybody knows what I'm talking about who played Nintendo. The majority of those games were fucking just ridiculously hard. There was only a handful of people in, in, in the world that could beat almost every single one of those Nintendo games because they were just extremely, extremely, extremely hard. And this just reminded me of it where you die. It's like playing Super Mario Brothers. You die, okay, start over again and go through the same level and don't do the same the thing you did before. Get further and further, you die, okay, go through the level again, do all the stuff you didn't do before and go further. And you just keep dying until you get further and further in the game. And that's what it reminded me of. Out, you know, the characters were cool. I mean, Tom Cruise was pretty much the star of the film. And, you know, he really stole the scenes. And he always does to for what he, for the actor he is. My rating for the film was 8 out of 10 years. Yes, sirs. I almost gave it a 7, but looking back on it, I'd give it an 8. Because it was entertaining. It wasn't a bad film. Uh... And it was nice to see a uh, change of pace because he does a lot of drama as opposed to just action. He doesn't do a lot of sci-fi. And it was nice to see him doing something different. The suits kind of also reminded me if anybody's ever seen uh, Ex Exo Squad. Uh, that was a show in the 90s that was on Channel 13 or I think it was. For me, it was Channel 13. It was, I think it was USA Network or something. It had Sonic and it had Exo Squad on it. And these suits remind me of the Exosquad characters. I felt... I don't think there was really anything that could have made me like it more than an 8. A solid 8. I... I... I didn't dislike it. I didn't... There wasn't anything I didn't care for. I just... It was just... It's a good film. I can watch it multiple times. But it's not something I rec like. I love it. But it's not a bad film. It's not... It's it's something that when I feel like it, I'll watch it again. Have a good time. Have some popcorn. Enjoy it for what it is. But it's nothing like... Um, you know, it's not terrible to where... Uh, it's just like... It's cool. It's a good film. It has action. It has a good story. It has good dialogue. Uh, and it keeps you wondering exactly what the hell is going on. So... You know, I'd say if you've never seen it, check it out. You very well can enjoy it and for what it is. And it's just a, uh, or just a good old popcorn flick. So that being said, I will catch you guys on the next one. Take care.